What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, um, I'm going to be fixing up my front end a little bit. Um, if you saw a couple weeks ago, I installed the front mount intercooler and uh, that process just went absolutely smoothly. Um, I did get my e-tune done, so um, we're not gonna be talking about that quite yet. I'll make you guys wait a little bit longer. But um, because I did the front mount, uh, my bumper uh, needs to be needs to be addressed. So uh, in the last video, I was asking you guys what I, you guys think I should do, if I should keep this bumper, if I sw should switch to a new one. Um, because uh, the project I'm doing today, I'm, I'm going to be cutting into this bumper to make more room for airflow, to expose that front mount intercooler. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna put it in the corner here. Really cool, really cool project. Uh, I ended up making a pretty good amount of power from it, so. Um, I decided to, because I'm gonna be cutting into it, I didn't wanna buy a brand new bumper to cut into, so for now, I'm going to be just cutting up this one. It is pretty uh, beat up. It's a 15 plus bumper. Um, so just doing that today. Um, I'll show you guys how I'm going to be doing it. There's a couple different ways using Dremels, using knives. I'm going to be trying a little bit of both. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's get the bumper off the car, get it uh, masked, um, masked up with tape. And then uh, let's get that outline drawn for, for where we're gonna be cutting. This is what we are working with right now. As you guys can see, you know, pretty much less than the half that the, uh, the intercooler is exposed here. So what we're gonna be doing is following this line, cutting straight up to about here. I've seen people go all the way up to this three, this crease. Um, I'm not so much of a fan of that for some reason. It just, I don't think it looks good connecting. So pretty much the line will be right about there. So exposing, you know, another two inches all the way across. Um, I think it's gonna look really good. So, um, funny story, I actually forgot to tell you guys what else we're doing today. Um, so I have these that came in a while back. These are smoked out replacements for the stock turn signals. Um, they're the LED versions and they just look a lot better. Um, so these are gonna be, I'm gonna be putting these on while, the, uh, <laughs> while I have the bumper off here. So um, pretty simple, super, super install, super easy install. Um, here are the two compared. Just gonna look a lot sleeker, a lot nicer. Simple. So now that we have the, uh, everything up, basically what I'm gonna be doing is, um, I did wipe all this off. So what we're gonna be doing is mimicking that line right here on both sides. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna attack some of these tabs here. 
um, just get a feel for, you know, what's the best way to cut this thing. So, I think this came out pretty good. I do need to clean up right here. Just can see a little edge. But that is a pretty smooth flat line all the way across. And I think I got the corners pretty good. Just a nice soft rounded edge. Um, I needed to hit a, um, this with a Dremel just to sand down right here and then like little bits right there. But that line looks almost perfect. The bubbles out a little bit right here. I can sand that. But overall, wow. So I ended up going with a pretty aggressive bumper cut. Let me show you guys what it looks like without the tape here. Here you guys go. I think it turned out really, really good. So let me get everything cleaned up. Um, I'll show you guys what the new uh, turn signals look like too, because I'm actually curious about that. But let me get this uh, sanded down a little bit more with the Dremel, and then I'll get it mounted back up on the front of the car. So here is the end result. So I'm opened way up. Looks really, really clean. I am super, super, Super happy with this. Um, this looks so good. Uh, I also managed to fix one of my fog light vessels uh, while I was down there because it was kept popping out and uh, I never noticed it before, but I fixed some of, them. Fixed one of the little taps back there. Um, I'm not gonna close the video out yet because I'm still waiting for one little thing to come in that's gonna be going right, right down here. Um, you guys probably know what it is, but it's gonna be uh, just something to tie in this entire front end. Uh, it's gonna make it look really nice. And I'm finally waiting for my new plates to come in. Uh, the old and busted and gross, hit by a snowplow plate that I had to bend back in shape is finally gonna be replaced. So, super happy with how this came out and uh, I'll show you guys what the last little mod is.
after a lot of struggle, uh, pretty much got it on there. Um, this lip is, I can't even get it off. Um, I'm gonna have to chop the bolts out because they're all rusted and gross. Um, this lip came on the car from the previous owner and it was just absolutely in pieces. So um, I do have a couple extra ones of these barrel nuts, but um, yeah. When I do the new lip, you guys uh, will see that I'm gonna be replacing this and I might actually do a new overlay while I'm there. But uh, that being said, I think it actually came out surprisingly well. Um, let me lower the car, uh, drive it out into the sun so you guys can see it. So overall, um, I am actually very, very happy with how this came out. Um, the bumper cut came out really, really, really good. Um, I'm very pleased with how that came out. Uh, the vinyl, like I said, I'm gonna have to make some adjustments to that when I do the new front lip. Um, overall, I just think this entire front end just looks so, so good. I'm really happy with it. Um, I also did, I don't know if I ever showed you guys on, if you don't follow on Instagram, you've seen this, but I did the new carbon fiber, <clears throat> the new carbon fiber uh, front emblems as well. Oh yeah. Yeah, she looks really, really good, so. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure you guys stay tuned for um, the next things we have coming for this car. Um, yeah, that front end looks, I really, really like that, so cool. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, yeah, we'll see you soon.